Good morning. It's an eventing morning. Hello, how are you everybody? I am just waking up. It's Look, I've not even turned up with a bungee to tie the petition back. It is um, too early, is what it is. Very, very much so too early. The, the moon is still, you can see it. The moon is still in full force. It is, I need to check, I actually need to check the time. 27 minutes past four. I am... Um, getting ready to go eventing obviously we're off to ask and brian today this is a donut's first actual proper big boy on a record b event um so you know it's a very exciting day for him Ugh, i can't get that window open i have to get someone taller than me to help Where's my thing gone? That's fallen down. So this morning's going well. I've got dogs in the car because mum's bringing her bike. Where actually has... Hold that for, I'll be back. Sorry, trying to do too many things at once. Um, so, Donuts first BE. We're doing a BE90. So we've done a Go BE90, which is like an unaffiliated version. We're going to do a B90 today at Askham Brown, so we're heading up north. And um, I'm really excited to see how he goes. He's been feeling so fresh and well at the minute. I think he's going to be quite bubbly. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what happens. I have got to get him ready, and we're aiming for a half five leave because I need to walk my cross country before I do any dressage at 10 a.m. So first things to do is I need more bedding in here. That's not going to be any good. And I'm going to pop the hay nets in. I'm basically trying to do everything I can before I fetch him in and start plaiting him. Because I know once he comes in, um, I can't leave him because he gets too excited. Right. I don't know how much of me you're going to see because I'm about to head into the darkness. Oh, look at that. Goodbye, Lori. Okay, fetch some hay nets. And see you in a sec. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. That's a bit better. Hey, net in. Make sure I bring those with me. Second hay net, and I've opened the window a bit. Right. On to donut now, I think. Hello, Moon. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. He's really excited, so just a quick look before I go load up. There he is Platts. You good boy. Yeah. Stand up. on time which is great news it's just approaching um 
six o'clock, but we were loading at half five, maybe 25 to six, which was the plan. You can't see me. Um, I've just chucked some fuel in the lorry and sent mum in with my purse to pay. Um, she's taking a while. I wonder if she's getting snacks. Uh, yeah, so we've got probably about an hour and 20 is travelling ahead of us from here, but I just wanted to make sure we got a fuel, full tank of fuel. Donut is ready bar his studs, um, who's too excited. I'm hoping they go in fairly easily. There is mum. We're going to get on and travel, and I'll talk to you when it's light, because I can just see the base of my face. <music> Chattering now. She's a gun shy. The camera's out. Yeah. Okay then, Donutty. So we've opened him up so he has much more space now than what when he's travelling. And he's got a little bit of breakfast for while I walk the course and we'll shut the doors again to keep him nice and warm. Good boy. You alright, matey? You travelled well, didn't you? Good lad. Hello everybody. Isn't it so beautiful? Now it's daylight and the sun is out. I'm just on my way to walk the course on Mum's bike. It's very good. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? Fastest course walk ever. I'm speeding around it, although I'm a bit nervous I might fall off at some point. Right, next fence. Woohoo, a table. It's all quite decent here. Decent size. Gallop and jump, gallop and jump. Woohoo. Now we're turning. Gosh, there's lots of turning. I hope I have some steering. Look at me, I'm pedaling. 10A. And there must be a skinny bee up there. Let's go have a nose. 10A. And then twiddle along. Don't lock on to that one. Pop over that one. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder. Goodness me, that's tricky Step down and then what? Two strides? One if you launch This It's a decent step down <laughs> There we go Hi bike one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's tricky. Very tricky. Oh, I wonder. The 
stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder Okay then, let's take a look at this test. Um, I will preempt this by saying there was a horse that kept nearly crashing into Donut. Not only Donut actually, there was other horses in the arena. I'm not quite sure what the rider was doing. She just seemed to decide to ride off all of the horses in the arena, which poor little Donut, he is actually a bit nervous about other horses coming close to him. So we had elements of tension and then it got a bit busy in the warm up. So I sort of did what I could and then was quite pleased to go and get over by ourselves out in the dressard arena. And I must say he was looking pretty good, I think. Um, so I've got the test set in front of me and we are about to go in. And my main thing for this test was trying to keep the trot steady and relaxed. Otherwise, sometimes it looks a little bit too hurried. So first centre line and then we do a sort of turn at X to the diagonal. It's a funny test. And we got a seven with pleasing entry. So I was ever so pleased about that. And then we had to trot round to B and we got a, another seven and more relaxation, which I think is fair. You can just see where he's got a little bit wooden in his neck. Uh, circle right 15 meters diameter we got another seven which is good which means i rode at the right size for starters and he's still looking pretty good so so far so good he is getting um 
better scores for his trot work than he ever has, which I'm ever so pleased with. We then repeat the move that we did on the centre line at the start, but the other way. And we got another seven with the comment of active steps, which is funny because for me as a rider, I feel like I've got him at walk pace. I have to like bring the power down so much, bless him. Um, and then we do our another trot round to E, get a seven for a nice rhythm. And our circle 15 meters left at E. E, we got a 6.5, keep pull up and steadier contact. And you can just see him moving about a little bit in the contact there. We then pop up to canter left at some point. Yes, seven, fair transition. And then we canter all the way around to the other end of the arena, which is usually quite tricky in the left canter with him. And look how good he's being. And, um, we had to do, we got a seven for that and we had to do a circle and trot at X and it was late as you can see because we're still cantering. Donut was like, mm, no, don't fancy trotting. So we got a six. We then did our transition down to medium walk, which was a seven with obedient. And then um, this is going to be interesting to watch. So we have to do a medium walk. There's no free walk down to the middle marker and then across the short diagonal and it's going okay but he starts getting a little bit excited at this stage and then remember I mentioned a horse crashing crashing into him in the warm-up and him getting upset about other horses oh look at us go he would make a good reigning horse for the western community but not so good in dressage tension bubbled over and I hadn't realized till I watched this video back that no, no, no fault of this other rider coming around, but that rider at the top, I'm wondering if that just distracted him. And then we got the trot back, but then I asked for the canter and my leg went on and he went, oh no, I can't cope. So then we just stopped and I thought, okay, just take a breather. And we just did a walk to canter and we got a one and then a six and then a three. <laughs> Whoopsie. But credit where credit's due look at him he three movements thrown away and then he gets it back bless him and he does his trot transition at x and he gets on with it so you know a little bit of a throw out in the middle of the test bit of a bubble over of tension and then we get it all back we're then back up to sevens where we do our canter and our trot the judge judged us very fairly i can't hold um fault her and then we got a 6.5 for our halt so overall not as bad as we thought very quick post check-in after dressage bit naughty we're not sure that i'm not eliminated are we mum <laughs> mum's sat there with a phone waiting on the scores to see <laughs> what happens it started off beautiful didn't it Stunning. Stunning. Like, so relaxed and so good. And then we just lost it, unfortunately. But, you know, it was always going to happen at some stage. Tension bubbled over. I think something maybe spooked him. And then it's a case of getting it back afterwards, which he struggled with. Um, but hey-ho, he managed to get it back. Good learning experience. Even if we're eliminated, I'm tacking up for jumping because it's technical. So I'm hoping that they'll let me run because we weren't dangerous. We just... um exited the arena a couple of times so anyway fingers crossed we'll jump see you in a bit i've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong and i've got no idea where you've been who you are not anymore all I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down time and time again It wasn't my intention, maybe we should have been friends So, you're someone I used to know but nobody said it'd be easy But maybe I should've known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind 
show jumping around I um feel like I'm letting him down a little bit in that phase I feel like it was his in the dressage and then mine in the show jumping um just not not enough power um we only had two rails down but I'm a bit disappointed in myself for not giving him a good good ride round you know so just having a moment in the lorry just to myself to decide if I'm going to run cross country or not or whether I'm just not quite in the right space today I just need to get the fun back into it I think I think today I've kind of gone a bit a bit too quiet a bit too serious on him and actually I'm not holding his hand as much as I usually do I think I've taken my lesson to the extreme um I'm gone too upright too still too steady and it doesn't really work like that. I need to get in there and ride a bit more. Oh. Horses and eventing. Why do we do it? Right, see you in a bit. Really funny to be sat here editing this and see how I was feeling on the day and then go and watch the video back because actually, yes, we were lacking power and there was actually a moment between one and two where Donut just napped because I, I wasn't holding his hand enough so all of those points are valid but my rails down are actually where I'd sort of seen that I was going to be on a bit of a long one and I'd overridden him in and pushed too much which is obviously what we'd been working on not doing in my lessons so um, I think in some extents I'd gone too quiet and then in other sense, extents I'd like not done my sitting quiet where I needed to so it's so good to watch your videos back and reanalyze them when you've stepped away from the situation rather than straight away after where I was just feeling a bit disappointed in myself because I knew I hadn't done it right um, and then actually I've come away and watched it and gone okay here are the issues and here are where I want to improve next time so um Interesting stuff. We used to walk those empty streets at night in the city lights. It's where I saw you for the last time. Said our goodbyes. Sat in the car, you saw the pain in my eyes. But I just couldn't let you down time and time again. It wasn't my intention. Maybe we should have been friends. So you're someone I Legend, this sleepy lad is. He's just got a massage pad on. It makes him really sleepy, which is good. He went clear inside the time. And it wasn't the prettiest round. It wasn't um, overly confident in places. And I think I think you get to see all of the ugly bits. I need to have a look at it back. I plunked him up in the spot where it was most interesting. But it was also the spot where poor little donut went. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I'll talk you through those bits later, but I'm so glad, gosh it's a bit windy, I'm so glad that we went, oh, there goes the door, good boy, it really, really boosted the day, not every day goes perfect. Hi guys, we're home now. So it's, um, gosh, 25 past four. So it's 
over 12 and a half hours since I got up this morning because I got up about quarter to four um, and got a few bits done in the house before I headed to the yard. So it's been a really long day. We've just got home. I've popped donut out in the field and I'm just sheltering in the lorry because it's windy outside to get this debrief done. But, you know, not a competitive day at all. I think we finished 13th in the end, but we've learned such a lot. And um, Ben Hobday said it the other day. That, what was it he said? He said, um, if you are not winning, you're learning. I'm pretty sure that's what it was or something along the lines of, and honestly, that is so true. I feel like we have brought away so much today. And the thing that I'm really, really proud about is that we went cross country. Um, so a bit of something about me. I, I have had plenty of struggles with my mindset and confidence. Um, and if you're ever struggling with them, feel free to send me a message because, you know, I know how it feels to want to compete, but also to get there and not want to compete because you're worried or overthinking or, or you don't even know what you feel. You just got this crippling, I don't want to be here anymore. And yet I want to be here when I'm not here. Um, so yeah, I've had that and I've worked through it and I particularly had, um, a massive burst of it just after I'd broken my ankle. Like I came back and then all of a sudden my like my confidence just plummeted and I, I didn't even didn't even want to get on and do the dressage test, let alone the jumping. Um and I've had some fantastic people help me through that and I'm so grateful. But with that in mind, like this mindset and confidence, it's a muscle that we work and it doesn't always perform as brilliantly as it can and it can go up and down and I am always trying to improve it. So something that I've struggled with is, um, I call them gremlins, like little things that come into my head that, you know, are there from past experiences and other people might not necessarily have or they have different versions. One of my gremlins is that when I've messed up a phase I'm really stressy about messing up the next phase. Um, I don't know why. I I don't know whether it's just that I'm assuming that I'm just riding badly that day, so I'm going to wreck it all. But that's how it is with me. And then obviously, because I've had that gremlin, I almost manif manifest that it doesn't go well. Um, so for me today, the little gremlin started creeping in of, do I even bother running cross country or is it going to be a waste? It's his first first um, run on his BE record. I don't want to give him a 20 penalties, his first ever 20 penalties, when I know it wouldn't be his fault, it would be mine and it's a tricky course and blah, 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 blah. And um, no, so I was, I did a little video where I went and had a little sit in the lorry and a little think and a chat to myself and, and I thought, you know, I want to go up the grades. I want to compete at a higher level. I've got some super horses sat on the yard, albeit two that have been out of action, but they should be back next year. And Donut is absolutely fantastic and particularly fantastic at the cross country. If I want to go up the grades and I pull out every time I don't feel absolutely perfect, I'm never gonna get my MERS, I'm never gonna get the runs in order to keep stepping up. So I decided that we were going to put the gremlin to bed say thank you listen to you i hear all your worries but we're going to do it despite them and we went out and i gave myself a bit of a kick up the backside on the um warm-up and we went and we jumped the most fabulous clear inside the time it was messy there were points where i was like oh are we gonna jump it and we had to get in there get dirty and get on with it that's what cross country is about it's not about it all being perfect all the time um and you're probably going to see part well you've probably seen part of the messiest bit of the course because of where i asked mum to go on video because it was quite a tricky bit but that's good that's what happens with cross country there was other parts where it was beautiful and i've considered buying the video so i can sit and analyze it and talk you guys through it um but at the minute I, bank funds don't really allow there's other things that I'm saving for so I'm not going to but I can talk you around the track 
in that I gave myself a kick up the bum in the warm up. I kicked him on, I rode him forwards, I stopped checking him and I stopped sitting there like a lemon. And hey presto, jolly old donut was back going, yeah, yeah, bring it on. So, you know, that just shows how much just me sat on top going, oh dear, steady, it's a nice day. Doesn't really work. We need to get in there, we need to get the job done and be much more workmanlike about it. So he came out Starbucks stunning. He was so on it, galloping on, jumped the fence. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, had a trot through the water, had a trot down the little slope of stones because there was a bit of something to look at. And then he had lots more galloping fences, which really suited him. And then our first really sticky bit, we had three, like three questions in a row. So 10 A, B, if you remember, it was a step up to a skinny. He locked on to the um, meter skinny, which is interesting. So <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it's not that one. Quick, look, that it's this little one. And then we got a bit of baby oversteering where we was going left and right like that. So I was having to try and keep him central. And if I'd let my gremlins get to me, I would not have ridden that like I did. I'd have given up probably a stride or two out and would have had a flyby and had a 20 penalties. I, I can nearly guarantee it. And to be honest, if I'd been sat on any other horse and donut, the horse might not have jumped anyway, but us together, we managed to get ourselves over it and he will have learned something about jumping up and then figuring out where his fence is rather than just locking onto the first one he can see. So one massive thing learned on the way around. We then had to like, lost all of our space where we wanted to go for the jump into space and i just had to turn him leg on get in there go jump it fab i then wanted to slow him down for this drop because if we're using our confidence piggy bank and you put a penny in for every good jump and then you lose five pennies for a bad jump we'd had a really bad jump at that skinny so i didn't want to exhaust his confidence and risk having a stop at the drop or whatever. So I steadied him down so I could put my legs on. He went to say no, which is when I got in the older, I went, go on, you can do it. And then it wasn't pretty. We landed all fours, but we got A to B and he learned something else about looking where his feet are going, jumping an offset fence on the other side. I then went and jumped a lovely let up fence. And then we had that U-turn where it was a big box, turn and a corner. And they were individually numbered. So I'm thinking confidence piggy bank is still low. We've had another bad jump. Yes, we've got from A to B, but we've not had great jumps. We're not we're not refilling the confidence piggy bank at the minute. So what I did was I jumped my table and then I did a circle. I shouted long. I did a circle because they're individually numbered to give us a bit more time. Got him straight for the corner, had a lovely jump. Pennies in the piggy bank, yeah? I, I hope this is making sense. Um, and then we had the coughing coming up. So I'm bearing in mind that we've not got many fences without that are sort of confidence fences before another big question comes up. So again, I slowed him down. Not a perfect stride into it, but he sorted himself out. And honestly, a full stride before the ditch, I knew he was going. I literally was like, good boy. And he went and jumped it. And then we had, I think, the brush and then that piddly little last fence. And we had two confidence to giving jumps on the way home. And it was just so good. One for him to go around. So I spoke to um, a friend, Sophie of mine. I said to her, I thought it was quite a beefy track and quite technical. And, and she, she said she thought that she was being wimpy because she agreed, um, but hadn't spoken to anybody about it. So, you know, I think, I think for um, a B90, it was another beefy one lots and lots of questions not many let ups and he took it on and he's going to have learned so much and he's finished confidently so i'm so so pleased i'm sorry there's not more videos um, but poor poor little mum riding around on a bike it just sometimes happens that um she can't get quite as many and it is what it is we'll get more in the future um but that's a bit of a debrief of the cross country course and a little bit of a debrief on my mindset and actually how 
I feel so great today because it's not all about the results. It's lovely when we win, get placed, whatever. But actually for me, this is a penny in my confidence piggy bank that goes, you messed up a phase, don't worry. You've got another phase to ride at. And that's how it is with eventing. Sometimes a couple of little mistakes just chucks you out of the running. And that's what happens. We're all human. Donuts a horse. <laughs> He's allowed to make his mistakes. I've got to allow me to make my mistakes. Um, so I am feeling great, albeit tired. I've, And that was another thing for me. Like I've had the busiest, busiest, busiest week um, ever on the run-up. So I've been feeling tired. So that was another thing where I was a bit like, oh, am I not riding as well because I'm tired and stuff. And it, it's just me holding myself accountable for my performance and trying to make sure that I do the best by the horses. So I'm going off to clear up this lorry, get other stuff sorted, and I'm going to sign off for now. I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Sorry for the long chatty bit at the end, but I thought you might like to hear about a cross country round. Um, there'll be lots more to come. If you liked this, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.